Hey guys, Thomas from Team Soccer also coming at you with a banless analysis video for October 2019. Sorry if my hair is wet, I just got out of the shower, which is something you should do if you're going to regional YCS. Don't stink up the place. Uh, so just getting right into it, uh, the winners here are definitely, definitely, without a doubt, a Thunder Dragons. Uh, this deck came out unscratched. You could play Danger, Thunder as well. Uh, the deck's also more accessible to players. I think Colossus Ultra Rares are like three to four dollars, uh, possibly even two instead of like fifteen twenty. All that the secrets were, uh, the dangers getting reprinted as well have lowered the price, especially if you want high rarity instead of low rarity secrets instead of ultras. You can at least get copies for the deck and play the deck for a lot cheaper than it once was. I believe uh, it peaked at a thousand dollars for the deck, Danger Thunder, something along those lines. Now it's way cheaper. Or if you want to play Pure Thunder. Uh, whatever route you want to go, it's there, it's a lot cheaper, it escaped the ban list, it has less threats to worry about, Widow Anchor going to 1, so you really only have to play against 2 or 3 Widow Anchor, and you know, all the decks getting weakened, and Thunder Dragons staying untouched, is basically bringing all the meta decks to that level. So I think that da uh, Danger Thunder, or Thunder Dragons, uh, depending on which variant you want to play, is at least minimum tier 1.5, I believe it could be a tier 1 deck for this format. Uh, I definitely suggest picking it up. Um, a huge winner. So, and just because I got this comment on my balance prediction video, also thank you for 800 views on that. Uh, no, I am not a uh, Thunder Dragon player. Uh, I had, I, I had um, my curiosity peaked when it first came out, but then just because of the price, I kind of stopped caring about it. Uh, another deck that we are seeing is Sky Strikers. Uh, now, Sky Strikers now have to play with Widow Anchor. What this means is you will be seeing a max of three Widow Anchor per game. Uh, since they'll have the one copy and then they'll have the multi-roll, which banishes it. You can Kagari for it and get it uh, certain other ways. But max, you're going to see three Widow Anchor per game, most likely two. And they can't shotgun off their Widow Anchors. Uh, they just have to play, and because this was their way to interact with their opponent, was mainly Widow Anchor along with certain hand traps and floodgates, like Summon Limit uh, was one of them, but Widow Anchor was our main source. So now you only have to play through one Widow Anchor, so you can kind of now beat it. So it kind of becomes more of a strategic card, which is something I really like. Uh, Sky Strikers were always a kind of what I believe to be a deck that you need to think to play, uh, along with it can have varieties. So I'm very curious to see what they're going to replace those two cards with. I believe it's going to be more floodgates, personally. But I guess time will tell. We'll see what the uh, top Sky Strikers players do. I'm very curious to see that. Also, if you guys can leave a like and subscribe and tell me what you guys are going to play for this list, uh, that'd be great. I'm going to be playing Medulces like a pleb because I love Medulces along with Shadal's Shadal Danger. That seems absolutely fun with me. So, yeah, Shadal, expect a Shadal deck profile, by the way, in the next couple of days, week or two. Uh, so, Orcus. Now, if they ban Nightmare... Uh, the deck's way less splashable. Cyber Dragon Luna Light uh, builds are still possible, but they are severely weakened, and now you have to open up a lot better. So by this point, I definitely believe that Pure Orcus, or Danger Orcus especially, are the way to go. So, you can still play those decks. Orcus is still a major Tier 1 deck. Uh, I would definitely not count it out. I've heard that people saying that. Definitely not that is... Just definitely prepare for Orcus at your locals. Deck is still very strong. Um, I can't wait to see what it does. Um, I think this was the correct ban as well. Just hitting Mermaid for the splash ability. Uh, so still a tier 1 deck. I would consider it a winner still. Uh, because I'm sick and tired of seeing like, oh, look at this spicy deck profile. We're going to play 6 copies of the actual archetype. Here's the, now here's all the Orcists. And it's basically a generic deck. Uh, heroes need to do something. We have Strauss at 3. I'm very, and Malicious at 3, I believe. I'm very curious on what... Uh, we are what heroes will do. I believe that they will at least get a top 32, but they definitely need to do something this list for people to consider them a deck. Um, I think with three Stratos, the deck's going to be absolutely strong. We also still have three Super Poly as well. I think heroes are definitely a candidate for tier one, but it really is a 50 50. We got to see what it does. We got to see what players want to bring as well to regionals because representation is important. Like, if we only get 10 hero players, maybe one will get a top 32 still, but we need more, for example. So, you know, represent your favorite decks. Um, and uh, Sky Strikers, very quickly. Uh, you only, as I've said previously, 
you only get two or three Widow Anchor now. The deck is hindered. It's still meta, though. I believe it's still meta. Uh, people are saying the deck is dead. I don't think the deck is dead. They've said this since Kagara got limited, and the deck was still getting top 16s and invites all across the globe, even top 8s. So, yeah, the deck's not dead. It's severely hindered, but I think Sky Striker players could do it. Um... Deck is severely weakened though. You guys really have to play smarter with your one widow anchor. Now you have to actually go into matchups and play test more with one widow anchor and see what's the best time to widow anchor. So yeah, uh, that's all I'm really gonna skate for Sky Strikers. Um, they may fall out of relevance. Just it depends also what the player base is gonna do. I personally think it's still gonna stay meta relevant. Um, Guard Dragons Agrippine got banned. Great, they're still relevant. They have uh, rejuvenation still. Well, we just got Rejuvenation, so deck's still strong, but that's just because it was so unhealthy to fucking begin with that, like, it could still live completely fine without with the Agra Pain ban. It does weaken it, though, which I'm happy about. I can't wait to see what Konami does to shut this deck down once they stop making money out of it. If you guys haven't got the gist, I hate Guard Dragons with a passion, so sorry if you're a uh, Guard Dragon player. The last thing I'm going to say is Marincesses are definitely going to be a tier 1 candidate. Uh, I know this doesn't have to do with the list, but I just want to throw that in there. I really do think that Dex, when Chaos Impact is going to get released, uh, what's called box opening coming out next week, by the way, or not next week, in two weeks when it releases. My fault. Uh, so look forward to that, along with Sneak Peek. Uh, Royal Tribute, uh, coming off the three, I don't think that's going to do anything because Royal Tribute is not searchable, along with, with the new rulings uh, when it comes to uh, vision and seeing your opponent's hand when you mind crush a royal tribute I really don't think this card's gonna do anything uh, unless they reverse that rule they Konami truly eroded gravekeeper or or not gravekeepers they truly eroded killed the card without eroding it and I don't even know how without even touching it uh, just giving up more copies that's absolutely insane so yeah once you get to see your opponent's hand when you mind crush a royal tribute, uh, to pro or actually have a way to for them to prove that they don't have those cards in their hand, this card is would be at least cool to try out. But until that happens, I have zero interest in it. Uh, Salmon Great uh, is still came out untouched. I don't. I think the deck is still at least tier two. Um, especially if kids, if people could get Phantasmi Dragon. But if you could get Phantasmi Dragon, you could get better decks to top. I think that's the issue. So I think once we get Phantasmi Dragon, AK Thanos Dragon, uh, reprinted, maybe we'll see Salmon Grid again. That's what I think. When the deck's a little cheaper. Uh, not that it's too expensive now, but or once the player base gets more interest, I still think it's gonna be it's a pretty decent deck. And the last uh, deck I just want to talk about is Grand Maju. Uh, it's still a great deck. Didn't get touched. Very happy about that. I'm glad that you can still play Grand Maju. Uh, is this deck going to be meta and competitive relevant? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, I'm, I'm very happy to see it. I can't wait to see what it does as well. Very fun deck. I'm very happy Konami. I thought Konami was going to hit it because it got in the way of making their money. It didn't. Very glad I was wrong about that. Uh, yeah, last thing I'm going to say is thank you guys for 200 subs. Uh, Balanced prediction video did really well. 800 something views. Uh, very happy about that. So thank you guys for all the views and all the love and support. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.